Hollywood's most banned actors. Actors banned by Ferrari. Nicolas Cage is not allowed to buy a Ferrari. Why? Because he fell on hard times due to consistent overspending and sold off his many Ferraris, including a Ferrari Enzo and a 1959 Ferrari 250 GT LWB California Spider to pay his debts. The House of the Prancing Horse was less than thrilled with the whole situation and placed him on their ban list. 50 Cent can no longer own a Ferrari, and the whole thing had to do with how often he slagged their quality. Once, his Ferrari 488 had to get towed due to a dead battery, and he went on social media to rant. He was deemed not a good fit for the brand and slammed with a ban. Tyga has a reputation for leasing expensive automobiles and not paying for them. So he leased a 2012 Ferrari 458 and forgot to keep up with the payment, and fast came the ban. Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather likes to show off his possessions. Usually he buys some of the most expensive cars on the market and then sells them a few months after. That's not in line with Ferrari's goals, as they see their automobiles as works of art that are maintained and retained for at least a year. Ban. Then there is Kim Kardashian, who a few years ago got a wedding gift in the form of a Ferrari from a Malaysian businessman who turned out to be a fraudster. Ferrari since then has been explicit in its goal of making sure that she would never be allowed access to its special or exclusive models. Crazy, right? Be sure to stick to the end to see the ranking of the seven most banned actors in the world. Next up in the second category are actors banned by whole countries. And by the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more amazing videos. Brad Pitt got on the bad side of the Chinese government by starring in Seven Years in Tibet. He and the movie director were subsequently banned from stepping foot on Chinese soil. Paris Hilton is also not allowed into Japan. You see, Japan has strict drug laws and also does not allow non-Japanese on probation into the country. Because of that, when in 2010 Paris Hilton pled guilty to a drug charge, got a year's worth of probation, and then flew into Japan on business, she faced six hours of questioning at the airport and was not allowed in. Stick around to see just why she also has been banned by all Vegas casinos. Richard Gere came on the stage at the 1993 Academy Awards to condemn China over its many human rights abuses in Tibet. For that, he was slammed with a ban and excluded from subsequent Hollywood movies that were meant to be distributed in China. Harrison Ford also cannot enter the Forbidden Kingdom, and the reasons why are legion. In September 1995, he testified before the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee, voicing his support for the Dalai Lama and a free Tibet. Kundin was released two years later, with the script being the work of Ford's wife. 2007 saw the release of the Dalai Lama Renaissance, a movie that Ford narrated. In 2012, Snoop Dogg got banned from stepping foot in Norway for two years after going there high He's also not allowed in the UK because his entourage smashed up a British Airways lounge at Heathrow Airport. Chris Brown is not allowed into Australia because of his domestic violence past. And Alec Baldwin cannot get into the Philippines because he is an undesirable alien. He got tagged that and was banned from the country after joking in 2009 on a Late Night with David Letterman episode about ordering a mail-order bride. Beyonce, aka Queen B, is not the most welcome person in Malaysia, and that has to do with the strict conservative values prized in that country. She has had to call off concerts in Malaysia after not being allowed to wear what she wanted and dance on stage. Selena Gomez cannot go to China, and get this, because a photo of her with the Dalai Lama went public. Then comes actors banned from live TV, and starting us off is Martin Lawrence. This bad boy got kicked from SNL after deviating from the script during his 1994 appearance. The Martin star veered wildly into forbidden territory and hasn't been invited back since. Hollywood's toughest guy Steven Seagal tried his hand at hosting SNL in 1991 and did so poorly that a repeat performance is now considered impossible.
In fact, his SNL performance was deemed so terrible, its tape was practically deleted from existence. In 2010, Vince Vaughn starred in The Dilemma, with his character joking about electric cars that was enough to get him temporarily banned on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Then there is Kelsey Grammer and Piers Morgan Live. In late 2012, Kelsey Grammer was supposed to sit down for an interview with Piers Morgan. A few seconds before things were to kick off, Kelsey saw a picture of his ex-wife in the opening credits and stormed off the set. He was subsequently banned from Piers Morgan Live. During break time at a 2001 Howard Stern interview, Gary Busey first tried to burn Howard's neck with a lit cigar. The interview was cut short and Gary was asked to take his leave and was banned. Hugh Grant endlessly complained during his 2009 interview with Jon Stewart. That got him banned from returning to The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Kathy Griffin is banned from The View, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Today, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and The Late Show with David Letterman. Why? We reckon maybe because of her often offensive directness and outspokenness on sensitive issues. Piers Morgan and Howie Mandel worked as judges on America's Got Talent, with Howie reportedly subjecting Piers to many ruthless pranks and Piers retaliating by banning Howie from his show. In September 2005, Jimmy Kimmel interviewed Vivica Fox. He opened his introduction of the Why Do Fools Fall In Love actress by mocking her friend. Vivica was not amused and stormed off the set. Jimmy later alleged she had been high and said she was permanently banned from his show. Here's a surprise, Oprah Winfrey is banned from The Late Show with David Letterman. Back in the 80s, Oprah was interviewed on The Late Show with David Letterman, but the interview made her uncomfortable and she refused to be a guest again. When David Letterman learned of this, he began publicly cracking jokes at her expense and the divide between the two grew so much that they ended up not speaking for nearly two decades. Artie Lang Once he popped up on Conan O'Brien's show, The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, while drunk, and O'Brien banned him till he could straighten himself out. The fourth category includes actors banned from social media, and we begin with The Donald, who has been banned by Twitter, Instagram, Shopify, Snapchat, and indefinitely suspended from Facebook. Shopify has disallowed sales of Trump merchandise, and Snapchat has his account suspended. Rose McGowan was temporarily suspended from Twitter in 2017 for posting a tweet that contained a private phone number. Rihanna, who starred in movies such as Ocean's Eleven, posted an image on IG a while back and got slammed with a six months ban. 50 Cent was also banned from Instagram because he often engages in name calling and would constantly post stuff on IG that would flag and pull down without notifying him. Chelsea Handler is also out of IG. Remember that famous photo of Putin atop a horse? Well, comedian Chelsea Handler opted to recreate it and post the image on her Instagram account. Instagram cited its policy and banned her. Clint Eastwood and Tila Tequila have been banned by Twitter. Well, in defense of Clint, the account that was banned was a parody account, and it was banned after praising Donald Trump in terms that Twitter found unacceptable. Singapore-born and Texas-raised Tila Tequila is persona non grata on Twitter because in late 2016, she released a picture in which she was performing salute at a convention. Then we have this group of actors banned from casinos. Paris Hilton is banned from visiting all Vegas casinos. The year was August 2010, and Paris Hilton was about to enter the Wynn Hotel, only to be halted by a traffic stop. While reaching for lip balm, some coke fell out of her handbag, and she was arrested and fined $2,000. The incident resulted in her being temporarily banned from all Vegas casinos. In 2014, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner went to the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel, and he won money hand over fist at the High Roller Blackjack table. His joy was, however, cut short when he was accused of counting cards, thrown out of the hotel, and banned from returning. Actors banned by the Academy Bill Cosby has had a long and remarkable career as an entertainer, but his record has been permanently stained ever since the sexual assault allegations against him were publicized. He was expelled by the Academy shortly after being tried and found guilty of assaulting a lady. 
While presenting the 1993 Oscars, Richard Gere went off script to criticize the Chinese government. That resulted in a two-decade ban from the Oscars as a nominee or presenter. Will Smith, as you may well be aware, is also banned by the Academy. At the 94th Academy Awards, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air went on stage and lay his hands on Chris Rock, with the repercussions of that action still being catalogued. He was later banned from all Academy events for 10 years and cannot attend events either in person or virtually. Carmine Carity, who is best known for starring in The Godfather Part II and The Godfather Part III, sent VHS copies of screeners to a friend and supposed movie buff. Carity's action got him a permanent Academy ban. Then comes Harvey Weinstein. In 2017, the former Miramax and the Weinstein Company head was permanently kicked out of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, with the Academy saying his behavior has been repugnant, abhorrent, and antithetical to the high standards of the Academy and the creative community it represents. Then come the actors blacklisted in Hollywood, and first up is Kevin Spacey. Spacey here is a two-time Oscar winner and has four Screen Actors Guild Awards, but he has been beset with frequent sexual assault rumors and allegations that have cost him his House of Cards role. He still faces other sexual assault charges and has been blacklisted. Bill Cosby, America's dad, got blacklisted as soon as he was found guilty of assault crimes. While the conviction has been overturned, he is still considered a leper in Hollywood. In 2016, the Oscar-winning actor and director Mel Gibson was pulled over by the cops and found to be extremely drunk. He was also rather talkative and went on an anti-Semitic rant. Unsurprisingly, Mel Gibson was temporarily blacklisted once this monologue leaked. As of last year, Charlie Sheen was lamenting about being broke following his Hollywood blacklisting. Work offers dried up from the problematic actor when he publicly insulted the Two and a Half Men co-creator and was fired from the show. Clueless star Stacey Dash used to work at Fox News and regularly lauded President Trump, resulting in her being blacklisted. Comedian and actress Monique took home an Oscar in 2010 for Precious. With an Oscar in the bag, the world should have been at Monique's feet. That doesn't seem to be the case, and she's gone on record stating that Tyler Perry wanted her to promote Precious for free, with her not agreeing to this, resulting in her being blacklisted. Brendan Fraser helped set the early years of the century alive with movies like The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. In 2018, he went public with the fact that he'd been assaulted by Philip Burke. That assault, his divorce, and the death of his mom triggered a deep depression that halted his career, with a rumored blacklist not helping matters. Grey's Anatomy actor Isaiah Washington went to the 2007 edition of the Golden Globes. He insulted a co-star, with the two incidents ensuring that he was soon dropped from the show. He hasn't had much screen time ever since, and that's indicative of a blacklist. Remember The Passion of the Christ? It had a budget of $30 million, grossed over $612 million, and was controversial in its entirety. That controversy affected the career of Jim Caviezel, and he was blacklisted in Hollywood for several years. In 1997, Harvey Weinstein assaulted Scream actress Rose McGowan at the Sundance Film Festival and later paid her $100,000 in hush money. Following the assault, Weinstein made it near impossible for her Hollywood career to progress. While Katherine Heigl wowed fans with her performances, rumors were rife that Heigl was difficult to work with and unprofessional. It didn't help that in 2008, she withdrew her name from Emmy nominations, saying Grey's Anatomy scripts weren't good enough for that kind of recognition. She was then blacklisted and recently said that affected her mental health. Actors banned from places Apart from being blacklisted in Hollywood, Kevin Spacey is also banned from booking massages from Burke Williams' spa chain plus the Soothe app. This is because Kevin had a reputation harassing the staff at Soothe and the William Burke spa chain. That led to both outfits wielding the same ban hammer on the two-time Oscar winner. Bill Cosby has also been banned from NYC's Comedy Cellar. Things have never been the same for Bill since he was outed as a decades-long predator. While he's probably set on a comeback, 
he's banned from performing in the iconic Comedy Cellar in New York. Here goes Paris Hilton again, who's been banned from the Wynn Hotel and LAX nightclub. The Wynn Hotel temporarily banned Paris Hilton from its grounds after she was arrested near its premises on drug possession charges. Then the LAX nightclub banned her after she went there and lengthily insulted Nicole Richie, her ex-best friend. Charlie Sheen, for the rest of his life, will not be welcome at the Plaza Hotel in New York. This came after he trashed his hotel room in 2010, with the damage being assessed at $20,000. Blake Lively was once banned from Disney. Lively was, and still is, a frequent Disneyland visitor, but when she was a kid, she and her siblings tried to sneak in without paying, and after being found out, were banned for a year. Lindsay Lohan is unlike most others in this section in that she banned herself from the Smoke and Mirrors nightclub after getting into a fight with a patron. On the other hand, the Chateau Mormont kicked out and banned her when she racked up a $46,350 bill and couldn't pay. Face-off actor John Travolta was banned in the early years of this century from the Peninsula Hotel Spa for what was described as repeated inappropriate behavior during massages. Amanda Bynes has also been banned from the Smoke and Mirrors nightclub. In 2012, the former Nickelodeon star was not allowed to step foot in the Smoke and Mirrors nightclub. A few hours before that, she'd been arrested and then released on suspicion of driving while intoxicated. In September 1994, Johnny Depp opted to trash his $2,200 a night presidential room at the five-star The Mark Hotel, causing nearly $10,000 worth of damage. Subsequently, he refused to leave and had to be thrown out. Then we have actors banned by the Met Gala. In 2013, Gwyneth Paltrow went on a show to talk about how much the Met Gala sucked she was not invited back till 2017. In 2004, Trump proposed to Melania at the Met Gala. Soon after he was inaugurated, he was banned from the fashion show come celebrity extravaganza for reasons that were never made clear. And now for the countdown of the seven most banned actors in Hollywood. Coming in at number seven is 50 Cent. At number six is The Donald. Sliding in at number five is Rose McGowan. Charlie Sheen is at number four, while Kevin Spacey comes in at number three. Paris Hilton claims number two, and drum roll please, Bill Cosby takes the mantle. Click here to see the eight actors who destroyed their careers in 2022. See you there.